He does have a 9mm. He did point it at her and threatened her. Subject signals there outside the residence with two children. 933 bomber signals near handguns. He's refusing to drop the gun. I'm Weiss Weiger, and we're in day three of Operation Rapid Hit here in Palm Bay, Florida. It's a full-scale exercise where we've built a crime scene here at a home in Palm Bay. The scenario involves a burglary where the suspect forced their way into the home through the rear window. During the crime, the suspect left blood evidence near the point of entry at the kitchen window and on the kitchen counter. Crime scene investigators processed evidence for touch DNA. For example, swabs were obtained from a water bottle the suspects left behind. All samples were collected in accordance with Palm Bay Police Department policies and procedures. The samples were then triaged and high value samples were handed off to the rapid hit team at the mobile command post, while other samples were sent to DNA SI labs in Burlington, North Carolina. This way, all results could be verified using a reference lab and gold standard procedures. The samples were processed by the rapid hit team at roughly 3 o'clock. Two hours later, a profile yielded the identity of a suspect which already had a profile in the Lotus database. With this evidence, patrol officers were deployed to make the arrest. A burglary case has been solved in a matter of just a few hours. The results of Operation Rapid Hit prove that the technology is ready for crime fighting. Once the procedures are fine-tuned and the technology is accepted as a valid part of the criminal justice system, we'll be able to save lives, prevent crime, and catch the bad guys more quickly. Ultimately, the police now will have another tool to help win the war against crime. Subject signals there outside the residence with two children. 933 bomber signals near handguns. He's refusing to drop the gun.